Are you dancing to the nativity? <laughs> Is that a link? Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good morning everybody. Happy Friday. Friday today. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm just so excited because look where I am. The range. Um, I am yet to look at the ranger's Christmas decorations. I've been holding off um, and I'm going in today to see what I can find because all the good stuff goes early. Now, I know we're in October, but I love Christmas so much. Um, as you can see, I've got hat Christmas on. I've had it on for the past week. Um, I just love Christmas so much. I always have done, oh, from being um, a little girl, it's just my favourite time of year ever. And now that I have a child, it is 10 times more exciting. Even though he has no idea what's going off, um, I just love it. I love everything to do with Christmas. And I cannot wait to relive my childhood Christmas memories through Jesse when he gets older and everything. I'm just so excited. Um, so, yeah, I'm coming to have a look at the decorations. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything. I'm not saying I'm not going to, because I might. Because like I said, the good stuff goes. It always does. Every single year, all the good Christmas decorations go in October because everyone's on it. Um, so yeah, this year I am going for a gold theme. Um, last year I wasn't happy with the tree at all. Um, <laughs> so we're making some adjust adjustments this year. And I'm also getting a new tree. Um, we're still saving the one from last year for future houses, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a new tree because if you've watched previous vlogs, I need a slimmer tree. So I'm going to see if there's one in the range. If not, I've seen one online that I'm going to order. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Let's go have a look and see what's in the range. I mean business because I've got a trolley. I'm just going to go around the home section first. Then I'm going to go to the Christmas section. Here we go. This is the first aisle. Oh, we've got some golds here. These are pretty. I'm not sure what to do about the ones, whether to buy like a pack or go for these individual ones. But oh, I love the reds as well. Absolutely love the reds. Can't be a traditional Christmas tree. Look at these candy cane things. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. This is kind of the theme we went for last year, the whites and the silvers. Um, yeah, I just want to go for gold this year. Um, oh, I wish I had enough room for that, because that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, got all the pinks down here. Oh, let's have a look. This is some silvers. See, I want slim, but not that slim. This is the one we bought last year. Um, it's just a bit too sparse. I want something a bit more full. Right, guys, I'm out now, but I stopped filming because someone, like, was stood behind me whilst I was filming that last bit, and I got so shy, and I had to stop. So I'm sorry, um, but I have bought some baubles, and I have seen a tree that I love, and then... Get a call from Jimmy. Actually, Jesse FaceTimed me um, and they were up in the bedroom. I said, what are you doing up there? And Jimmy turned it round and he's put the blinds up. I didn't realise they'd been delivered. I've not got a notification. And he started putting them up and it has totally transformed the bedroom already. He's only put one up for now, uh, but I only ordered them yesterday and they've come today. So that's amazing. Um, so I can't wait to get back and see what they look like and show you all our completed bedroom, finally. We don't have those blankets up on the window anymore and we can actually have some daylight through our bedroom in the day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get back now because I really want to see what they look like um, and I'll show you what I got from the range as well. Right, I'm home. Oh, wow. Wow. <gasps> it has totally transformed the room. Oh my goodness. God, it looks like a totally different room. I am so happy with those. Wow. Oh, we can finally have it lowered. Oh, that is perfect. I'm so happy. It's <clears throat> It was difficult to choose the colour, really, because the light isn't shining on the um, blinds. As you can see, the light's obviously behind the blinds, so you can't really tell what colour they are, but I do think they go nicely with this colour. Um, so you can't really see, like, the actual colour of the blinds, because, like I said, the light is coming from behind. But I am so happy 
it looks really different. Like, I don't know. I'm so happy. I can finally use one of my next towels. That's right here. I've had this next towel up the whole time on that um, little window there. Oh my goodness. That's like, been used to having it with the towels up and that blanket down there for about a year and a half. Well, not a year and a half. A year and two months. So it's so strange seeing it like complete. I'm excited to go to bed tonight to like have them fully down and see what it looks like but it's nice to have some like daylight through um because before we'd just obviously leave the um <clears throat> we'd leave the blankets on so there was no daylight coming through but I am so happy with those um they're blinds direct I've ordered all our blinds from blinds direct and I've never had a problem um because our windows aren't like ones that you can just go buy from the shops um, we've got to have a made to measure as I'm sure a lot of houses need made to measure so um, the prices are really really good I think for those it was well there was 20% off I think it cost about £70 maybe a little bit more for the blinds and then because I'm impatient I paid for next day dispatch even though they came next day and then I also paid £4.95 per blind for a sure fit guarantee so that means um, if you've measured it wrong <laughs> um, you can replace them for free and I just think it was worth it for £4 because if not we would have had a blind hanging around that doesn't fit not been able to do anything with it and would have had to buy a brand new one for obviously full price so I think it's worth adding that on so it did come to a little bit more but I mean I'm not complaining <laughs> I now have realised I need to clean those windows so bad oh my goodness <laughs> they are horrendous and the windowsills too and i can finally decorate the windowsills up a little bit we've had that behind the blanket for so long now so i can finally add some little bits on there that's so exciting right i need to show you what i've got from the range too um oh my goodness it feels so weird it feels like a totally different bedroom i don't know it feels like it's made it like bigger I don't know i'm really happy with it anyway and thank you jimmy for putting those up for me <laughs> he did it as a little surprise blessing when i was out at the range um i didn't realize they'd come usually when they come they have these little pleats in them and i remember when i ordered the first one first lot of blind like these little ridges in them um, i was like oh my god there's a massive pleat in them but i just let them drop but they do drop out so i'm just gonna lower them a little bit and i'm gonna clean those windowsills because they do not look nice, but yay, we have blinds in the bedroom, so excited. Right, from the range, I got an extension cable for some lights that we're putting up this Christmas. And then these, I actually ended up throwing away and I could have done with them for the autumn garland. It's just like little reusable ties um, for the Christmas garland that goes on there, just to tie them round. And then I had to pick up this little box because look what I've got in here oh my goodness so yeah going for the gold i picked up some of these beads um, i'm going to try and do a really good job this year of the tree and then look at these how stunning are they so uh, i think we are going to need some more but i'm going to wait and go to b&m because they've got some lovely golds in and get some more plain ones but we've got this one this very very sparkly one um these like matte ones and then the pearl ones uh, these were a little bit more expensive you can tell because they're a little bit um heavier <laughs> and then they've got like these little beads on top that are as you can see coming off already but uh yeah i am so happy with those um and i also saw a tree that i liked in there it's not a slim one though that's the problem it's not slim but i haven't got the tape measure to see if it would fit in that little area that we're having the tree um, but they did have some really nice bits in. I have to say, I think B&M is a little bit better. Um, not for baubles. The range is always the best for baubles. But like for actual, you know, other decorations, B&M have been amazing this year. So very happy with those. Very happy with my blinds. Um, and yeah, now I think we're just going to... Are we watching Harry Potter? You're just finishing your dinner. And we're just on Deathly Hallows Part 1 now. So I'm going to probably chill and watch this. What have you got? Right guys, I've been to B&M, so I'm just going to do a little haul for you all. Um, I've mixed all the baubles together, but this is a mixture of the baubles I've just picked up from B&M too. 
um, just all gold obviously and then when we come to put the tree up I will um, see which other ones we need but I really just still like these sort of range these are so cute um, and then I picked this up how cute is this little jar I just think he's really sweet and these I absolutely love I'm just going to do these lights I got a J and an O obviously for Jimmy and Olivia <laughs> and these cups are so cute I absolutely love those and then I bought some curtain lights but I'm actually going to use these on the kitchen window um, just warm white ones I picked up some more of the frosted pine in eucalyptus Mrs Hinch because it's so beautiful some random some black um, black peppercorns because we're running out and I always like to have these little bags in the house too got some bleach because I need to clean the toilet and I saw Mrs Hinch use these last night the miracle foaming toilet cleaner so I picked those up had to and then these because my nan had these yesterday in her house and it was the best coffee ever so I picked up some of those um, some suction hooks and then uh, some lights for the tree so I've gone for these a thousand warm white ones they're cheaper than the ones in the range and last year we had a mixture of the warm white and the white um, but this year I just want to go for the warm white so I picked those up and then I had my eye on these last time we went and I think it's so gorgeous um, that I think it's two separate stars so this one does come out but I want to put these on the kitchen windowsill where the pumpkins are at the minute and these are light up so I really love those and then got some of these to stick into the tree uh, these can be really expensive you know these are £4.50 so not bad at all and then I picked up some glitter snow window stickers because my mum always used to have window stickers on and I loved them so much um, I don't know if it's going to look too much with the obviously the star lights on as well so if not I'll just put them somewhere else but that's everything I got from B&M and I know I said I wasn't going to get any Christmas stuff until I'd sorted the house out but I just I was just sat at home and I thought I can't help myself and I said it earlier but all the good stuff goes by the time you come to um, buy your decorations and I thought oh, if I get it out of the way then like next month I can just sort everybody's presents out. Plans now, I'm just going to pop all that away into the conservatory boxes. Jessie has had no nap today. What time is it Jimmy? Is it half three? 3.35. 3.35 and he's not slept. So yeah, I have no idea what's happened there. But yeah, he's not slept. Um, so I think I'm going to give the bedroom a tidy down because I feel like we can't appreciate the blinds without it being like tidy. So I'm going to give it a cleaner hoover, make the bed and then the blinds will look ten times better. I've got so much to do. I've got some clothes to put away, some washing to do with the conservatory to clean. So I think I'm just going to spend tonight doing that. Just getting it all nice and cleaned, ready for the weekend. Jesse should be going to bed early with him not sleeping all day. So I've got all tonight to get stuff sorted. Um, and I need to edit my video too. Um, yeah, just usual housey bits. Right, time to give this bedroom a good clean. I've put all mine and Jimmy's clothes away. These are all Jesse's I need to put away. Um, I've brought my things up that I'm using. I'm just going to change all the bins. Give everywhere a spray. Um, I also need to do the windows but I feel like that's a full day job because I want to get in all the little nooks and crannies plus Jesse's not happy today um, he's I don't know what's up with him he's just not in the best of moods um, and like me or Jimmy cannot be out of his sight so I've had to sneak upstairs whilst Jimmy's in the playroom with him oh he's crying again now It doesn't even feel like our bedroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm sorry I didn't film much of me cleaning guys. I was on a roll and I didn't want to like break my momentum by like moving the camera places and things so I just got on with it and I'm so so happy with the room. I'm over the moon with it um, and the blinds I cannot believe well I knew it would make so much difference but it has totally changed the room and I absolutely love it so much. Um, the only thing I've not managed to do is Hoover because Jesse is fast asleep. Um, I don't know if I will have left in Jimmy coming up saying that he went to sleep but yeah he went to sleep at four o'clock. Um, so no idea what time he's going to get to bed tonight. I probably should have tried to get him down to sleep but he has just been active all day and then towards the end of the day just getting really upset but as soon as Jimmy gave him some milk he was gone. Bless him. So uh, yeah we'll see what kind of night we have with him. But I am so happy. Whilst Jesse is still asleep, I think I'm just going to um, crack on and get some more bits done upstairs. I've got some clothes to put away for his room and I also want to make a start on cleaning the bathroom as well as other things. Uh, but I'm very glad I've managed to tidy the bedroom. It looks so lovely and I can't wait to jump into bed tonight. Um, and I cannot believe the difference of the room from when we moved in last year. don't know if I ever really showed the bedroom um, before we painted it and everything oh I will have done in the video of me painting the bedroom um but I was just I just wasn't happy with it um you know everywhere else in the house is great and if it was up to me right now I mean if we could if we could I'd have the whole house in this color we've got I can't remember what the paint is called um I can't even remember what oh it was a good home brand um and yeah if we could I would have it in the panelling downstairs in the living room but we've got a grey blind down there, we've got a grey sofa down there and there's absolutely no chance I am getting a new sofa and a new blind for downstairs so that can be something um, we probably plan for our next home which is going to be three four years guys yet um, but I'm still so happy with it. So this was the room in September 2021 so last year just before Jesse arrived obviously we've got the next to me crib, we've got this bed in that I really really didn't like the walls were like a dark grey and we've got the next towel that's been up there in this exact position for a year and one month that's obviously going in the wash before we use it guys um i will try and remember what the paint's called but if you're wanting to know if you go onto my paint the bedroom with me it's on there um i think it began with a t but i can't remember the name off the top of my head but anyway it's all done here we go i just need the blinds to drop out a bit as you can see i said earlier there's like some lines here but they do drop out if you just obviously leave them to hang a little bit but yeah here we go here is our bedroom minus this part here which is all of Jimmy's clothes I have never known a man to own as many clothes as Jimmy but anyway that's a story for another day <laughs> but yeah um one last look I'm now going to start on a little man's bedroom which I, I've let it go a little bit in the past few days, just going to be real with you all. This is all the washing I've got to put away. His toys are in here. <laughs> um, and yeah, he needs a, a proper blind for this room. We, this is the Tommy Tippy Blackout blind and it just doesn't look nice on the outside. Jessie's bedroom is at the front of the house. And like when you look up to the house, you can just see this really horrible looking thing. <laughs> Not that it matters. Um, but Jesse's bedroom will probably be next for a blind as well as the games room downstairs. Games room? It's not a games room, it's like more of a tip at the minute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start putting clothes away in Jesse's room now. Right everyone, bathroom is all clean. Um, yeah. Jesse's room, the clothes have been put away and our bedroom is spotless, which is amazing. Makes me feel so good. We've all had dinner and this oh. little boy is very upset tonight. Um, I only have to go into the kitchen for him to scream the house down. Um, I've just been upstairs now to get my camera and it's like, wow, he is so upset when I leave. Same when Jimmy leaves. Um, but yeah, bless him, I don't know, he only woke up at half past six. So there's no chance he's going to bed at seven o'clock tonight. But it is what it is. We have those days, don't we, where sometimes routine just don't go to plan. But I forgot to show you these earlier from B&M. Um, I picked up this gift wrap like pack and I love all of the gift wrap in it so you've got this like little uh, person one person one 
a little Christmas tree, this like goldy bronze one and this star one. I thought this would look really lovely under the tree with all the gold decorations. Um, so yeah, I picked that up and that was £6 I think. And you get the little tags and some little ribbon included with that. And I thought they were really lovely. So I picked that up as my Christmas wrapping paper this year. Um, now I'm going to try these out. So obviously I'm not putting any decorations up yet, much to my dismay. Um, but I'm going to put these up. The two stars um, that I just love. I think they're so cute. So I found some batteries and I'm gonna try them now. Right, should we turn the light off? Ready? Wow! Sorry guys, the light looks really funny on the camera. But these are soup. Oh my goodness, Jimmy, look at them. You're ruining my vibe by listening to these rap songs, Jimmy. <laughs> How gorgeous are they, Jimmy? Do you like right. them? Yeah, they're not going in here though. Where but going, wow! Then? Oh, I wish you could get like the full effect on here for some Where reason. Um, I want to put them in kitchen windows. Oh, mind you. No, I can't put them there because blind will cover them on a night. Um, I don't know. I'll find a place for them, but they're not going up right now. But do you know what? They actually could work for like all year round. You don't have to choose them for Christmas. Um. They're really lovely. I'm very happy with those. I think they were £20. 